The Boeing Starliner program has been one of the most expensive and disappointing parts of NASA's commercial crew program. Boeing was given the largest contract, up to $4.6 billion, to develop a spacecraft that could transport astronauts to and from the International Space Station. But after more than 10 years, Starliner still isn't certified for regular crew missions. Meanwhile, its competitor, SpaceX, has completed multiple successful missions with its Crew Dragon spacecraft and has become NASA's main transport provider. So far, NASA has paid Boeing about $2.7 billion. Most of that money went into developing the Starliner, and the rest is reserved for future missions. But Boeing can only get the remaining $1.9 billion if it successfully completes six operational crew flights. Right now, it hasn't completed even one. In fact, the most recent Starliner mission in 2024 ended with serious technical problems. Although the spacecraft managed to carry two astronauts, Butch Wilmore and Suni Williams, to the International Space Station, it was not safe enough to bring them back to Earth. NASA had to send a SpaceX Crew Dragon capsule to rescue them. This mission exposed serious technical failures in Boeing's Starliner spacecraft. Issues that were not only dangerous, but also deeply concerning given the program's long history of delays and problems. During the June 2024 crewed flight, five of the spacecraft's 28 reaction control system, RCS thrusters, malfunctioned as it was approaching the International Space Station, ISS. These thrusters are essential for maneuvering the spacecraft during docking and orbital operations. Although the mission team managed to bring four of the five thrusters back online, it required real-time troubleshooting and placed both the spacecraft and the astronauts at risk. But the thruster problem wasn't the only failure. The spacecraft also suffered multiple helium leaks in its propulsion system. Helium is used to pressurize the fuel tanks and help push propellant through the engines. A loss of helium can lead to a total failure in the ability to control the spacecraft's movements, which is a life-threatening risk in space, especially during critical phases like docking or re-entry. These were not theoretical concerns. The system had actual leaks in multiple locations during the mission, and engineers were forced to closely monitor and manage the problem throughout the flight. Because of these combined failures, NASA extended the astronauts' mission on the ISS far beyond the planned eight-day stay. The agency concluded that Starliner wasn't safe for re-entry and made the unusual decision to use a SpaceX Crew Dragon capsule— originally designated for the upcoming Crew-9 mission, to bring back astronauts Butch Wilmore and Suni Williams in March 2025. Starliner, meanwhile, was returned to Earth in September 2024 without a crew on board, landing at White Sands Space Harbor in New Mexico. This incident marked a major setback for Boeing, not just because of the embarrassment, but because it once again demonstrated that Starliner was still not ready to reliably carry humans to and from space. And this wasn't the first time Boeing's Starliner had failed. The June 2024 mission was actually the third major attempt to demonstrate the spacecraft's capability, following two earlier uncrewed test flights, both of which also encountered serious problems. The first orbital flight test launched in December 2019, and it was supposed to demonstrate Starliner's full mission profile, including automated docking with the International Space Station. But just 30 minutes after launch, a mission timer error caused the spacecraft to fire its thrusters at the wrong time. As a result, Starliner burned too much fuel and was left in the wrong orbit, making it impossible to reach the International Space Station. NASA and Boeing had to abort the mission, and the spacecraft returned to Earth just two days later, never coming close to fulfilling its objectives. After investigating the orbital flight test one failure, NASA and Boeing uncovered dozens of software and communication issues and described it as a high-visibility close call. The review showed not only technical flaws, but also weak pre-flight checks and insufficient end-to-end -end testing. Boeing spent months addressing the problems before preparing for a second uncrewed test flight. That second mission, Orbital Flight Test 2, finally launched in May 2022, nearly two and a half years after the first failed attempt. This time, Starliner did manage to dock with the International Space Station successfully. 
But even this improved flight wasn't smooth. During the journey, two of Starliner's maneuvering thrusters failed. The system was able to compensate using backup thrusters, but it once again raised concerns about the reliability of the propulsion system. Engineers also discovered problems with the spacecraft's cooling loops, and post-flight inspections revealed that some components experienced unexpected wear. So when the 2024 crewed flight finally launched, it was meant to be a final test, proof that Boeing had resolved all of these issues and that Starliner was ready for operational use. Instead, the same problems reappeared, now with astronauts on board. Despite all of this, NASA hasn't canceled the Starliner program. Instead, the agency is talking about another uncrewed test flight, possibly in 2025. Boeing is working on fixes and planning to test the propulsion system again. But it's not clear how those tests will be paid for. If Boeing has to cover the cost itself, a single test flight could be over $400 million, a huge expense for a company that's already losing money. Back in 2020, Boeing took a $410 million loss to pay for an earlier unplanned test flight. Another round of testing would add to the financial pressure. However, NASA still continues to insist on having two spacecraft providers for its commercial crew program, arguing that redundancy is important in case one provider faces unexpected technical or schedule issues. This reasoning made sense in the early days of the program, when both SpaceX and Boeing were competing to deliver safe, reliable spacecraft to transport astronauts to and from the International Space Station. But now, in 2025, that logic is starting to look increasingly outdated and even irresponsible as Boeing continues to fall behind. The company was awarded a $4.2 billion contract in 2014, later receiving an additional $400 million from NASA after early test flights ran into problems. That brings the total potential contract value to $4.6 billion. Worse, Boeing has already burned through billions of its own money just trying to fix Starliner's technical failures. As of early 2025, Boeing has absorbed over $1.5 billion in losses on the Starliner program, almost equivalent to what NASA still owes them under the contract. If they choose to do another uncrewed test flight, which looks increasingly necessary, it could cost them another $400 million or more. And that's not including the costs of any future crewed flight, which could bring the total even higher. For comparison, Boeing took a $410 million charge in 2020 to pay for a second unplanned uncrewed test flight. Now, with another such test possibly on the horizon, Boeing faces the same situation again. Only this time, with even less public trust and even more financial risk. Yet, instead of cutting losses, NASA is still keeping Starliner alive. The question is why? Many in the space community believe the reason Starliner hasn't been canceled has less to do with engineering and more to do with politics and influence. Boeing is one of the most powerful aerospace contractors in the United States. It has deep ties to the government, extensive lobbying efforts in Washington, and decades of history as a NASA partner. In 2023 alone, Boeing spent over $13 million on lobbying activities. The company also employs thousands of people in key congressional districts, which adds political pressure to keep Boeing contracts alive, even when the results don't justify the cost. Critics argue that Boeing is being protected not because of its performance, but because of its political influence and the fear of job losses if the program is shut down. This has led to accusations that NASA is favoring Boeing at the expense of taxpayers, astronauts' safety, and program efficiency. Instead of focusing on proven solutions and adapting to current realities, the agency is stuck supporting a program that has already failed several major tests. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.